God damn, it's like mad bright. What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divos? What's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube hoes? What's up, YouTube trolls? What's up, YouTube fairyland? What's up? What's up? What's up? Y'all know it's real talk. I know it's real talk. It's Tuesday, and it's mad late in the day. It's 2.56, so we're not going to be here all day because, girl, I got so many things to do, like... I don't know why I decide to do things all at, I don't even want to say it's all at once, but I, I, you know what? I'm going to just say this. I really feel like there's not enough time in a day. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that feels this way. I look a hot mess. Like my cornrows is not redone. I didn't do them today. I've been working all day, editing videos, um, posting up videos, editing pictures. Um, woke up. I woke up from like the worst dream ever at like about maybe like 530, 6 o'clock this morning. Um, it was like the worst dream ever. Like, I, it, you know how you have a dream and it just feels so real and you wake up like gasping for air and you just like so thankful that it was a dream. That's just how I felt. And I didn't even go to the gym today to work out because I knew I had so much work to do. Like I did promise, uh, hair VV to post their, um, wig video for black Friday. So there will be a, another video up for today. Make sure you watch it because you know Hair VVP having like the nicest wigs. Uh, this one is a faux scalp and I they call it fake scalp. I call it a faux scalp because fake is like when you know that shit ain't real. Like, oh, I know that Gucci bag ain't real, girl, please. Faux is like you have to question it your damn self. Like, hold up, that shit came with some authentic papers of authentication, however you say that, okay? Papers of authentication all right it came with that it came with a bill of sale but you know so you know that's fake when you know that shit is fake okay you ain't even got a question you can see that shit from afar that shit is fake it ain't fake okay then there is foe when you got a question that shit but or foe is like it really wants to be real but because it wasn't made at that certain spot it just can't be but other than that that shit is real okay this is what I'm talking about. So that's why I call it a faux scalp. So make sure y'all watch that video because I will post that up later on today. I was supposed to be at the doctor's today to get my other uh, leg, my right leg, injected with like 14 needles. But I decided to not go. I rescheduled because my leg has been so swollen and my foot has been swollen um, on my left leg. So I'm like, wait a minute. I know that I have to cook for Thanksgiving and actually starting today, Tuesday, I would like to start. Um, I only start minor things like boiling some potatoes and shit like that. But that's the one thing that I do know that I need to do. And I do start cooking certain things on a Tuesday. Normally it'd be like a couple of pies, but a bitch got uh, a couple of pies in the refrigerator that I done purchased. I'm not making no damn pies this year. Okay. I don't even eat pie like that. Nobody else do. So I'm not about to stand here and cook my ass off that much, but, but that much I will be doing. So, you know, I got a whole spread that I got to get out there. Uh, what a, I'm, I'm just running the menu down to y'all real quick. Okay. So we got ham, we got turkey. Okay. We got ham, we got turkey. We got baked ziti this year. We got cabbage with bacon in it. We got baked macaroni and cheese. We got rice. We got curry chicken. Okay. We got um, sweet potatoes from scratch, okay, not out the can, with marshmallows. We got my homemade gravy that take like six hours to make. Mm, potato salad, uh, deviled eggs. Um, I, I'm missing something. <sighs> cornbread. I don't even feel like making that cornbread shit. Um, I know I'm missing something. I'm missing something. I can't remember, but that's 12 things so far because, you know, so, but, um, oh, stuffing, but that's not what I was thinking about. Um, I can't remember. I know I'm missing something, but whatever. That's 13 things. So I gotta be busy. I do have all those things to cook, you guys. And also I do need to be in front of my house. Well, I don't even really need to be in front of my house right now. But I did want to put my Christmas decorations outside. And that takes me like at least a couple of hours. Happy Thanksgiving also for those of you guys. As well as I hope everybody's having like an amazing day.
So let's get into this real talk real quick. Y'all already know what to do. I'm gonna put it down below. If you need a real talk that you you know you need me to talk shit about, you can send me an email to muffin is my lovers2012 at gmail.com or April's Real Talk at gmail.com. Please put in the subject line real talk. And for those people that you are talking shit about in that email, if you'd like to go ahead and change their names, you can do so and please let me know. So and if you don't so, then I will change it on my own, yo. So on that note, let's get into this real talk, you guys. Okay. All righty. Hey, April. I'd love to hear your honest opinion on this matter. You can call me Lisa. This email is long. She's trying to tell me because she said it's long. I met a man at my job five years ago, and from the beginning, he stated he didn't want a serious relationship, being that he was fresh out of a relationship with his kid's mother a year now. I was okay with the terms because I had been single for five years prior to meeting him. We started a friends with benefits relationship for a year until I caught feelings and called it off. Four months later, he came back and stated he also had feelings and would like to give a relationship with me a try. We started dating and everything was perfect. He introduced me to his children as I introduced him to mine. Our children differed in ages, mine being adult slash teenager and his being adult slash young children. We spent a lot of time together at both houses and we worked opposite nights, but every single night when we were not together, we spent on the phone for hours. This man became my best friend, very honest, funny, and a great listener, among other things. As our relationship progressed, his kid's mother asked him to start picking up the kids every day from school, except Friday, since she had to work and didn't want to pay a sitter, which I didn't mind. He could only watch them at her house because his youngest son is allergic to dogs, and he has a dog. This was also not a problem with me until it turned into weekends and late nights as she would work late or just wanted to work overtime. This in return would cut into our time. He would never say no to her even if we had plans. As time went on, she would call him during our late night conversations to ask something and he would always say it was in reference to the kids, plans, or etc. I became jealous because I felt like he didn't respect my feelings and tell her no sometimes when it was outside the times they agreed on, or tell her he was on the phone and would talk to her later. I always felt like she had one up on me and that no matter the time or day, he would drop everything for her. This caused a lot of arguments and he would always say his dealings with her was only about the kids. I felt that out of respect, he should have took my thoughts and feelings into consideration and had some boundaries with the kid's mother. I never suspected he was cheating because, like I said, we were together every day, intimate every day, and talked on the phone every night for hours when apart. I felt like under those circumstances with the kid's mother, it could lead to something. I also felt she still had feelings for him still. He would always apologize and would start to have some boundaries with her, but it was always short-lived. Finally broke up with him after being tired of arguing about it constantly and him not sticking to his guns as it, as it would never change. I would ask him, is this what my future looks like if we stay together another five years? Am I just being petty or insecure? Do I have a reason to feel the way I feel? How would you handle this? Please let me know your thoughts. Thank you. So it seems like Lisa, you know, she was single for five years. You know what I'm saying? Like she said, she had been single for five years prior to meeting him. We're going to just call him Dave. So she met Dave at her job. You know, they just was friends with benefits. Neither one of them wanted to have a serious relationship. She started catching feelings. He started catching feelings. They came back into each other's lives. He introduced her to kids. She did likewise. And... Things just got a little bit out of hand and out of hand as in his baby mama. So the baby's mother actually started asking Dave to babysit the children while she was at work. So this way she wouldn't have to pay a babysitter. Now, the only way that he was able to babysit his own kids was to do it at his, his ex's home because one of their children was allergic to dogs and Dave had a dog. I don't know. I, I feel like if I had... um. A child that had a, an allergic reaction to like a pet, 
I wouldn't get that particular animal. Not even if we were living apart because even if we don't live together in the same household, I still wouldn't want a dog if I knew one of my kids were allergic to them, especially if they were little kids that I needed to be around quite often. Only because, you know, you can travel from your home without the dog and you still have the dog's fur on you. That way it's coming in contact with the kid, the kid is getting sneezing, you know, all that stuff. So I think I would avoid that. So I thought that was kind of strange on Dave's part. But, you know, like Lisa said, she started feeling kind of jealous because he would drop everything for his child's mother or his kids at the drop of a dime. And also his kid's mother, she kind of didn't know her boundaries and Dave didn't know how to keep his foot down either, okay, and be stern about the shit. And she got tired of arguing with it. With Dave, so she broke up. What do I feel about the whole shit? Well, me particularly, if it were me, I would probably get uptight too. Like to be honest, because if I made plans with you, that means that I've made plans with you. We've made plans. That means that I have put everything off because we have plans together. So I wouldn't really like it if somebody was able to just step into the middle of our plans all the time. Like I can understand if it was like an emergency, of course, by all means, but not if you decide, well, I just want to go to work tonight, so I'm gonna go to work. Or better yet. Well, I'm going to just go work overtime because that's what I feel like too. I think there does need to be boundaries because even though that is Dave's children too, that's not his home. You know what I'm saying? He does not live there. He also has a job that he needs to be at. So why inconvenience him? If I were Dave, if I was Dave, I would have let my child's mother know, my kid's mother, my ex know. Like, listen, I have no problem sitting at your home and keeping an eye on the kids while you're at work. But you do need to realize that. There are days when I do need to be at home as well. And I can't do every day overtime or just because I feel like going to work, that's when I'm going to stay. That's not fair to me. So Dave did need to keep his foot stern. Like, there's nothing wrong with spending a little extra time with the kids. But if you're going to constantly do it, now it starts to feel like, oh, she just dragging a nigga. And she just using him. And she just, come on now, because you know what? If you had a babysitter, I'm pretty sure his ex wouldn't be doing no shit like that. Because you know you got to pay the babysitter. So I guess she feels like, well, because it's the father, I'm just going to take advantage of the situation. But she need to realize, though, too, that Dave got a life. He got a job. He got a companion. He got a life. Okay? He need to be at home, too. And even though those are his kids, that is a boundary and is out of respect. So I can understand where Lisa's coming from. Especially if it's definitely keep cutting it into your time. Like, we're not saying, oh, get rid of the kids or nothing like that. But... Like she said, there does need to be some boundaries. And if you're going to constantly keep doing that shit, then of course you're going to get tired of it. You're going to get tired of it. And what better thing to do is just to kind of like back the fuck off. You may not want them to break up. You know, sometimes you got to just set your boundaries too. You know what I'm saying? Got to set your boundaries too. If you want to constantly keep calling, you know, the shots are, oh, well, we can't go to on date night tonight because I got to go over there for my ex. Or, oh, my ex is calling, so... I got to go talk to her. Like, he got to put his foot down, too. But if it were me, I would have been, been tight, too. Straight up, I would have been tight, too. Now, the part where you, like, you know that he's not cheating, well, that's a, that, to me, is a plus because I like to see someone that's strong and not, like, you know, vulnerable in, like, those type of departments. Because sometimes when you be, like, so vulnerable, you think someone's cheating on you or treat you unfairly, you always try to kind of, like, nip it in the bud or you're on guard. Sometimes your on guard can be a little bit standoffish. You know what I'm saying? Breaking up with him, I'm pretty sure you do miss him and you might have your regrets about it. But have you have you taken the opportunity to give you guys some space and time apart and then kind of like maybe contact him and see where his head is at. See where his space, what head space he's in right now. See, see what he's taken from this vacation from one another you know what I'm saying see where his head is at because maybe the breakup may not be permanent you know what I'm saying some things are temporarily especially if it's a good thing and you know me listen y'all met each other at work now I don't know do y'all still work together or not um I, I think she said they work opposite hours or whatever but if you guys work together on a daily basis I'm pretty sure that would be hard but if you work an opposite shift then that's cool. But y'all know me how I always be saying, look, I go to work to work, okay? I ain't trying to be wake, making no friends. It's a paycheck. Shit, I don't want to be here. That's how a lot of people feel about the situation. But you guys kind of started off as friends, work friends, and then came to become work friends with benefits. And then you guys both became um, booed up, okay? Because you caught feelings for one another. Um, you, you seem like you guys have like a nice little steady pace going on there. And... It sucks that, you know, an ex can ruin it for you. Like, seriously, they're called an ex for a reason. 
it just sucks when an ex can tear a relationship apart um but maybe the relationship wasn't meant to be or maybe the relationship wasn't strong enough i guess you know there's so many different factors that you can look at it like well you know that nigga wasn't strong enough well they was cheating there's so many different factors but what i do know is this if you've had your talks with him and um he's constantly doing this sometimes we need a little space and the only reason why Lisa's writing is because she missed Dave. She ain't say, I, you know, what did she say that? Um, she just said, do I have a reason to feel the way I feel? Am I just being petty or insecure? Do I have a reason to feel the way I feel? So she does feel like he's not cheating. She just would like for him to stand up and keep his boundaries. And I understand how you feel. Like you cannot allow anyone to just constantly keep walking all over you. And that's with anything, girl. It don't even have to be a dating relationship or an ex relationship. That could be with work. That could be with your own children. That could be with people that in the store. You don't want people to walk all over you and, and accept that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people see that you're so kind. They feel like it's a weakness. So you do have to stand your ground. And that's like, come on, man. You put your feelings into going out and you put your preparation into going out and hanging out with Dave for the evening or whatever you're going to go. And then it have to be canceled, not once and not twice, but yet again, be due to his baby mother. That's not fair to you, especially if it's not a freaking emergency. Let me tell you something. If that bitch ain't got no emergency, she had to call out for the night. Or I guess she won't be doing no motherfucking overtime. That bitch better figure out. Uh, at a later date, how to pay that goddamn light bill, but it won't be at my fucking expense of getting ready and hanging out with my man. Oh, hell to the no, no, no. She just doing that shit just to be spiteful. And maybe she doing that shit because she still want to get with Dave. Who knows? Maybe she's trying to, you know, she can't be the one who's trying to cock block, okay? Cock block your ass from keeping her man. Who knows? Is that the one he just broke up with, I wonder? <sighs> Either way, you have every right to voice your opinion. And you guys already had a conversation about it in the past. And it seems like you've had a, several of them. Um, now, sometimes you got to step back. When you step back, sometimes it lets them see like, yo, she really is serious about this. I got to come through and I got to come through correct. That's what you got to do sometimes, girl. You got to put your foot down let the motherfuckers know. Like, look, I mean business. This is what I said, what I said, okay? And you don't have to be disrespectful about it, but you said what you said. Shit. Let somebody cock block my relationship and I'm, tr I'm trying to chill. Girl, it's going to be a whole problem. I don't listen. Let me tell you something. I don't like no drama. I don't like no baby mama drama. And I don't, I don't have time for the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, straight to the point. And you don't really have too many chances nowadays with me to mess up because I'm not with it. And arguing with somebody all the time is not cool and it's not what's up. So sometimes you got to take a breath and just leave the person the fuck alone. Sometimes you got to leave their ass alone for the rest of your life. And girl, trust me when I tell you that that's cool too, okay? Because I'm cool with that. Especially when motherfuckers like to be petty and run their mouths like a bunch of females and cackling hands like men do. Which I said this before. Listen, let me tell you something, Lisa. It's all about respect, okay? And if a person ain't giving it to you, no matter how many times you demanded it, then you know what? Maybe that person is not the person that you need around you. You don't need to involve yourself with. I'm not saying that Dave is a bad person, but that extra baby mama drama and nonsense, I could do without it. Like, miss me with that shit way over there. Stay way the fuck over there with that baby mama drama. Straight up. But... No, you weren't being petty. I don't even really feel like that was being petty. You know what I'm saying? That to me is not being petty. Petty is petty. You know, you know what petty is, okay? You are definitely not being that. So don't feel like that. But you got feelings too. He may not feel the same way you do because in reality, those are his children. That's his family. And, you know, and he may feel the same way. He just may not be voicing it the same way that you are. So give him your space. Give it, Get your space. Give him some distance. And let's see how he come around, girl. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, enjoy your Thanksgiving. Happy holidays to everybody. I love you all. Stay Ziva and Zivolicious, girl. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. I got to go, you know, better this video. Too soon.